Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please, please, please ignore what I look like right now. I actually look like pure, pure, pure trash. But I'm gonna sort it out for later. And this weekend is gonna be really fun. Mummy's coming now to see me and Tasha, so we're gonna go on a little dog walk with Tasha's dog, and then we're gonna go for brunch to this really nice place called Harvard House. Just please ignore this because it's not a vibe then we're going to be going out tonight with some of the boys from uni as well so that'd be good and then it's galentine's on one day so that's gonna be really cute i'm gonna film all of that got so much heart stuff pink stuff all that vibe so yes if you enjoy the vlog please like and subscribe and ignore this this is the dog walking fit i couldn't i was gonna find my wellies and i can't find them i'm late i'm stressed and yes let's just go have a good wholesome day <laughs> <laughs> the scenery. <laughs> really? It's so funny how <laughs> she is black. <laughs> Let's go. little dog walk and then brunch was real paying as per Harvard House is always really good but I need to show you another little protein model unboxing because they sent me some new goodies and I'm really excited to see what we've got so here we go right because you're probably just using <laughs> okay when I said I should probably just use a knife yeah we're gonna throw that in the bin Ranty. Mm. oh okay we've got Whey protein, white chocolate, white chocolate is a deluxe flavor. I'm excited, I've got the fudge one. I think I tried the fudge one in one of my recent vlogs and it was real good in my porridge, so yay. A little white chocolate. A white chocolate and raspberry mug cake. Okay, that's pink, I've got the chocolate one and it's really good. So, oh, is it gonna come out pink? That's kind of cool, maybe I could make it for some of the Galentine stuff if it's pink. And then, I just thought this was so cool. I have black one already. But look how cool the gold one is. So we've got a gold, what does it say? Feel good, look great. That's cool. Okay, we got a gold protein mild shaker. It's got all the little measurements and stuff on it. Yay, okay. That was a cute little haul. I'm gonna go help my dad dismantle my wardrobe right now because my new one finally came and I'm so excited to get it put up. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. I'm going out this evening with some of the boys from uni. So we're gonna just go into town, I think I've praised one of their houses. I look really crusty and dusty, so I don't know how I'm gonna like revive this, but hey ho, thanks for it too much. Oh my co, I think it's PWF for 40% off if you wanna use that, but at the moment I think they have 45% off site wide, so I don't know, I'll let you know whatever the best discount is. I'm gonna go do this wardrobe and then I'll get ready to go out this evening. Right, this is some of the remnants of where the wardrobe was and then the stuff in the boxes is the new one. Okay, I'm ready. Ready to rumble. This is the outfit that we're going for tonight. Wearing this white, like, I never know what you call these tops. Like, long, long top from Lasula, which is like knit. And then these cargoes. And I'm just going to wear this brown bag because I don't want to wear my, my classic bag because it's just getting a bit scuffed when I keep taking it on nights out. So, yes. Yeah. I haven't gone out in town, like out, out in so long just for like going out rather than like a meal and going out, if that makes sense. So yes, yeah, gonna be fun. Not gonna get too drunk because I need to, this whole space here is where my new wardrobe's gonna be. So I'm very excited, we're gonna build that tomorrow. But yes, see you when we're having a drink. <laughs> 
good morning it is monday today i'm so sorry i completely forgot to vlog yesterday just like explaining what happened but i left my camera in my bag and then because i didn't see it out i just didn't think to vlog anyways we were gonna go out in hartford and then we just ended up staying at waller's and just like having a catch up and a chat because one of the boys is going traveling really really soon so it was like the last time we're gonna see him before he goes traveling but yes it was a very fun night just quite a few drinky poos consumed but anywho today is the 13th of february so it is jasmine's birthday one of our besties and galentine's day we're doing like a i'm having the girls round later i'm gonna make a brownie later in like a heart shaped tin i'm gonna do everything like pink heart shaped it's gonna be real real fun i am um, just going to go to the gym obviously i need to actually get changed i'm having a little coffee before i go but yeah my wardrobe is due to hopefully be finished i don't know maybe at least get started today so i'll show you that later i'll show you when i'm at the gym it's such a nice day look how sunny it is yeah just about to go to the gym i think i'm just gonna do some cardio today because I've eaten a lot this weekend. So yes, I need another roll. Oh my god, I ate so much in that So yeah, I can do some cardio and then I can get back and scrub and turn and then start preparing for Galandine. Okay, we're back from the gym. We are scrubbed. I'm literally as pale as a ghost, but I have some have some powder on my face just to keep it looking not literally I'm dead to the world. It's time to start prepping for Galentine's. It's literally three. So I need to get a move on because I need this brownie cool down before I put all the stuff on it. And the girls are coming around seven to eight. So let me get my brownie stuff. I won't lie to you, usually I would make my own brownie. However, today I'm just a busy, busy girl and I'm just not needing to be stressing about all that. So we've gone for a classic Betty Crocker. You just can't go wrong with that. So, and then I'm gonna bake it in this little bad boy, which is so cute. So yes, it will be a nice heart shaped tin. So what do we need? We need vegetable oil, water, and one medium egg. We have eggs. Okay. We have oil. Also, can anyone tell? I figured out the brightness on my camera. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know if it's like a bit too bright right now, but it's gonna have to do. Do I make it in this bowl? Does this bowl even go in the dishwasher? It matches my jumper. Let's crack her open. Stir brownie mix, water, oil, and egg in medium bowl until well blended. Don't eat the unbaked batter. We know I'm gonna be having a little bit of it. That's it, that's literally, this is why Betty Crocker and you just are Ellie and it's just the best because we know it comes out unreal. Oh, this is so dangerous, isn't it? Maybe I should cut it. Oh, oh my God, it's so... Oops, it smells unreal. Wow, let's get mixing. Yeah, that'll do. In she goes. Walking down the street. Right, and then some water. I'm having water for lunch. Water. Also, how cute is this little measuring jug? Like, is it not just the best? It's just so handy. And then I can crack my egg into it. Wow. It says medium egg. These are large, but what are you going to do? That could be fun, hey? Do you need to, like, whisk the egg before you put it in? Or what's what's the crack with that? What's the crack? Sorry, that was such a good little pun. Cool, 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 cool. Stirring, stirring. It says stirring big fat letters, so I don't think it wants you to whisk. So let's just get a one of these bad boys, a spoon. Right, in she goes. In, in, in. Also, update on the old wardrobe situation. Apparently there's parts missing. So, honestly, I have the worst luck with just anything like this. We ordered this chest of drawers, right, from this company. I do, all my, I always do research on a company if I don't know the company before I buy from it. Like, I look it up on Trustpilot, I look at the reviews on the website, and just like, yeah, just like all the reviews in general. So it was like a company that had been going for like 15 years, had like 4.6 on Trustpilot or like whatever, you know, like good ratings. Buy a chest of drawers. Thank God we only put a deposit down instead of like buying the whole thing. About, I don't even know, about a month later, company goes into liquidation. <laughs> so we didn't get the chest of drawers. Thank God we ended up getting the money back from the banks. That was good. Didn't lose any money on it, but obviously it just lost us time. Plus, this wasn't me that bought this, but it must just be something to do with this house. I don't know. My mum bought this sofa from Next. Great company, reputable company. And you know what? Kind of spenny as well. 
we got it ordered and it was like it's gonna be eight weeks that was long but you know what the, the time came it was february we were buzzing for the sofa and they put it on a truck and they were like oh the lorry's too big get up the hill so they just gave up even though they could have gone round and gone up the other hill so that was annoying then they lost the sofa trying to get it onto a small truck so now they've lost our sofa and it's going to be another 10 weeks until we get it so honestly i don't know when this house is going to be done but all i can say is i've got a brownie mix right here and i'm, I'm a happy bunny so that's all that matters right now does that not just look super sexy sex in a bowl what's the great about this is it's silicone so you don't have to line it which is just oh just makes my day whoa this is like heaven we also have heart-shaped waffles so that's fun it's time for the test i mean it tastes like brownie she is delish and would you look at that a stunning brownie it said 20 to 25 oh wrong one <laughs> i was like why does that not look on in she goes yay it's my name okay yay okay also while we wait i'm gonna start prepping some of the like salady bits and like side bits so i've got some cucumber and some watermelon and i found these little cutters that i have which look really cute so we have a little heart shaped cutters and then we also have little like chili cutters which i think is so cute because it's like hot and spicy you know the gals so i mean we have stars as well stars could be cute but we're gonna go with these now the thing is with the watermelon is it's obviously not big enough to do hearts with so i'm thinking if we just do like half and half can you see that then we'll just get like a half heart on the watermelon and we can see what that looks like look how cute that is and then we just get yeah little half hearts and then we're like each other's hearts okay that's really cute and we got a top and bottom I'm just gonna be eating so much leftover watermelon, but I guess that can be my lunch. Watermelon heart. Yeah. This is the cutest little thing ever. Let's go for this thick boy. See what happens. <laughs> oh, I've also broken a nail, so I need to be careful with that because that's real hurting. Push out the chili. <laughs> you can't really see that. Can you see? It's a little chilly. That is so cute. I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'll update you when we have all the watermelon. <laughs> okay, look how cute this is. Got little hearts and little chilies. Love that. Also, the time has just gone off for this bad boy. So let's see what's going on inside here. Oh my God, she has arisen. Let's get her out and test her. Next up is tsunami board. I don't have that much. There's actually not that many of us that can come tonight, but I want to try and make a rose and I've seen this hack with this cup and we don't have much of each so they can't be big roses so I'm trying to use like a small rim for cup so let's get in there so you just put it around the rim like so bend it in keep going around like you want it around the same height I assume like that I think next one Get her going. Yeah? No? I don't I don't know what this is gonna look like to be honest with you, but let's just keep going. She doesn't wanna like stay down. Oh no, now I have no idea where I just went. Right, sorry, my camera just ran out of battery, so I'm gonna need to charge that. But we're gonna give this little rose a go. See if it's worked. Where should we put her here? Oh my god, it looks so pretty. What the frick? That looks insane. Okay, well that's adorable. Yay, I might do that with this like chorizo and then the rest of the board will look really cute. Okay, it's a bit later. I've made some chocolate covered strawberries for dessert, which I'm gonna put on this little board here. And now I'm about to decorate the heart shaped brownie. So I've added some pink food coloring to this vanilla frosting. Again, I literally bought the frosting. Like I'm never usually this lazy, but I'm trying to do everything. I was like, you know what, I can DIY some of it. So yeah, we did pink and white chocolate on the straws and then we're gonna do some form of decoration on the heart. I'm not quite sure, but I'm watching Sophia and Chintzy's Galentine's video, which is giving me inspo. So yeah, VQ. Okay, 
we are starting to actually get everything ready now. So I've got my little strawberries on the little thing, which I think is so cute. This is how the brownie turned out. Basically, we call ourselves Toes. That's our group's name. So I just put that on the brownie. It looks quite funny and very DIY, but it's cute. You know, it's Valentine's. So yeah, I'm gonna actually finish making the board now. Buzzing. Right, this is gonna be one of the main centerpieces. Little love sausage, which is basically a massive pig and blanket in the shape of a heart. So, I'm gonna whack this in the oven now. The table is coming together. Looks so cute. This is the finished little board. Obviously, I'm gonna get, I've got some baguettes gonna go in the oven in a second. We've got the like sausagey thing. Some of the girls are bringing like more crisps and dips as well. Just got some roses in the middle that I bought quite a while ago, so they're kind of droopy, but still cute. And then this half is the dessert side. So, I just need to get some like teller and bits and bobs like that for the waffles but it looks so cute v happy and i'm so excited to dig in not gonna lie also i got in my pjs we're in the silk pjs and then these little like ride love heart socks as well so feeling very ready for galentine's <laughs> it's pretty much all ready now looks so cute Yay! <laughs> Good evening oh my god my face looks really like patchy i didn't oh hello i didn't scrub my face before i put tan on and now i'm thinking that was a real bad idea does not look smooth but oh well we can just lather it in moisturizer tomorrow anyways galentine's was so cute it was so fun i just to just make everything pink and heart shaped like just why not it's fun obviously the real valentine's tomorrow going to swingers which i'm really excited for never been but it'd be fun to play some mini golf and have some drinks and eat some food but yeah i think i'm gonna end the video here because i feel like that ended up being quite long so if you have enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe and yeah see you really soon with a new video bye